And, and thank you for those of you that are on video, by the way, I love when I don't have to look at black boxes. So hi, uh, Christy. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Tara. Hi, Margaret. Hi, Liddell. Hi. I, I love when I can see everybody. So thank you for that. And thanks for taking your Sunday to invest in you. Um, I promise I'm going to make it worth your while. I've got a lot of great information to share with you. This is the seventh class that I've done on this topic in the last two weeks. This is the final class on this topic, the final time I'm doing it for free. So I'm so glad you were able to make it and join in. Just a couple little technical things before we, we fully start. Um, if for some reason you're to drop off um, and you drop off the call, come right back in. If it's past the 25 minute mark, <laughs> We stop letting new people in. So just let us know in the waiting room that you were already on. So we know to let you back in. That's the first thing. The second thing is we are going to be answering all questions on here, but towards the end. So I'm going to cover information first, the way it's going to work. I'm going to cover a bunch of information. I'm going to teach you some core concepts. After I teach those things, I'm going to share an opportunity about Thrive. Some of you will be candidates, some of you will not be, and that's fine. And after I do that, I'm going to answer all of your questions about the content I've taught tonight, and then even your own personal questions that maybe we, you feel we didn't cover in here. So you'll definitely want to stay on for that. Um, definitely want to stay on for that. Now, why am I even doing this, uh, this fat loss as we age session. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about that. Um, three reasons, really. Uh, number one, there's a ton of misinformation out there. So much information overload out there. If you know that to be true, just say a why in here. So we know that you recognize that like just information about what to eat or what not to eat or what to work out or not work out the supplements, you know, what do we have to accept? What do we have to not accept? There's so much misinformation out there. And some of it is very confusing. And some of it is just downright ridiculous. And I feel it, I have a much simpler method and I love to share what that is and really shed some light on that. Um, the second reason that I do this for free and, and teach this and take this hour to really go deep here is that I do something called total body thrive several times a year. It's a, an intensive, um, eight week program where you're accountable to me, where we really get radical results. And some of you have seen it before. Some of you have no idea what it is. And when I've opened this, it's not always the right thing for everyone. Um, it, you might not be in a space where it makes sense for you. Time-wise commitment wise, you might not be ready for those results. Um, but, um, most importantly, if you don't know me as a coach, this is a great way to get a taste of what I do to sort of try on my method to learn about my teaching, my method, my coaching, and see if it resonates with you. And if it does, then it's a great way that you sort of got to experience what is it I do before you commit to spending eight weeks with me. The third reason I'm doing this session is quite honestly, the things that I'm going to teach you in here work. I'm going to teach you some very basic concepts tonight that will feel basic at first, but when we go deep on them, you'll understand. And when you apply them, they truly work. I truly do come from a place of service and I believe all of us have a purpose and a reason that we're here. And I really believe I'm meant to teach what I've navigated and walked through. And I would not be living my purpose, honestly, if I didn't share this information freely. And that's another big reason I'm doing this. I I'm really committed to doing that. And I have, you know, a lot of you found me from social media. Some of you found me from Instagram or Facebook or TikTok or my podcast. And on those platforms, it's very hard to go deep, especially, you know, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, like there's only so much you can put into a 15 second reel and really, and really teach. So rather than crafting these big, long comments and responses, it's easier. I feel to really just go deep with those of you that care and, and really teach you here. That's another reason. I also want to just acknowledge all of you, because to give you an example, we had over a thousand people signed up for this session tonight. And it's free, as you know. And as you look at the who's on right now, we've got 103 of you. So this is very real that 10 to 20% of people show up for free. It's sad, but it's real. And every time I have a program that I charge for, people say, um, why do you charge? Like, can't you do for free? And you all are saying I do for free and it's very rare that people take it seriously. So I want to acknowledge you for doing that because you really, this could be a big um, line in the sand for you. You could get some serious radical shifts and results from this. So uh, I just, I want to, I want to acknowledge that you did show up for yourself and I appreciate you uh, for doing that. So thank you for that. Okay. So, so I want to get started, but before I, before I dive into these concepts that I want to teach you, I want to give you a little bit of a backstory. Uh, some of you know me for a while. Some of you, I'm very new to you, but I'm, I'm 50 years old. 
I'll be 51 in September and I have a big history with fat loss and fitness and how I even got into it and a little bit more on that later. Um, but what I want to rewind to is about three years ago, um, about three years ago, I was sort of at the peak of my fitness and fat loss career. So let's see, I'm going to be almost 51. So I was about 47, 48 at the time. And if you were following me, then I was on all kinds of magazine covers, like some big, pretty major ones. Um, I had two best-selling books. Um, I was top of my game there. Um, you could have Googled me and saw all kinds of awards and magazine covers and all that kind of stuff. And I, I, I understood uh, fat loss. I understood nutrition and I was starting to understand aging, but I did not at that time understand pain, inflammation, or injury. Just being real. You're going to understand why I'm combining this in a minute. I didn't really understand it. Um, I understood a little bit about degenerative disc disease. If any of you have degenerative disc, put a little D in the comments. So I know, um, most women, especially in their forties, fifties and beyond, if we were to do an MRI, we'd have some type of degeneration. Some of us feel it. Some of us don't, um, but we would have some as wear and tear. So I was familiar with that. In fact, many of you probably even bought workouts for me or did workouts with me because you knew I understood lower back stuff. Well, I didn't know what I didn't know yet. And rewind about three years. I was on set, um, filming some fitness videos, um, in Miami. I live in California and I had uh, a disc rupture and it was the most excruciating pain I've ever had in my life. And just to give you a little example, um, if you've had an MRI, this will look familiar. Some of you will have no idea what this is, but this stuff circled right here was supposed to be inside there and inside here. And it was all out there. And not only was it all out there, it was completely wrapped around my spinal cord and my sciatic nerve path. And I lost use of my right leg. Okay. So I lost use of my right leg. Like I was fully scared. I like I, this was, it was, it was, it was pretty traumatizing for me. Um, I was in Miami. This had happened. I didn't understand the severity. I didn't even know I had ruptured it yet. I didn't know what was wrong with me. I got myself back to California, dragging my leg. Um, cause my head foot drop got an MRI when I got back, got the news, ended up in surgery the next day, um, literally in surgery, just to remove the rupture, not to fix it, not to put a disc replacement or a fusion, but just to remove what was there so I could walk. And when that happened, I started to enter in to this idea of pain, injury, inflammation. And as we age, I thought, okay, I had degenerative disc disease. What made it rupture now? Um, what is my fitness stuff over? Is this true? Like you get injured and now you have to really change things. You can't do things anymore. I started like trying on a lot of that. And I was quite frankly scared. And some of you know what I'm talking about. You've been there. Like, I, I guess, you know, running's out, I guess this is out fine. Okay. Got it. But I started really going down this sad path of pain, injury, and inflammation. And what I call the pain cycle. Um, some of you know what I'm talking about here, where you have pain and now because you have pain, you don't want to move. So because you don't move, you're feeling more stiff and worse about yourself. And now because you're feeling that way, you don't want to necessarily eat on point. Um, so you stay in this, what I call a pain cycle. Anyone know what I'm talking about? Like it's a, it's a pain cycle and it makes it worse because you're told if I eat better, if I move, I'll feel better, but I'm stuck in this pain cycle. Okay. So I start navigating that. I start really dialing in playing with my food. My second book came out around that time called aging in reverse. And I really spoke a lot in that book about, um, foods for healing. Like how do we get inflammation down so we can move? Okay. So just when I thought I knew everything, just when I thought I knew everything, I went on a trip and, um, my back, I was navigating that this happened. This is a normal bicep. And this is what happened to me. I tore my bicep. Okay. So just when I'm navigating my back and I think, and I'm a smarty pants when it comes to pain and inflammation, I tear my bicep. Great. Okay. So now I'm strike number two and I'm thinking, okay, what do I, what do I do here? Um, if you've ever torn a bicep, I had to wear one of these for a long time. Couldn't move my arm. So I thought, okay, I'm excuses or solutions. Let's go. Um, people are watching me. Let's I'll just walk. I'll do a lot of walking. I'll do some lower weight stuff, lower body stuff. Good. Got it. I got it. I'm dialing in my eating, learning how the body works more just when my bicep, uh, is repaired and I'm free to sort of do things again. I fall and I break my foot. <laughs> so trifecta here, trifecta. I'm, I'm sharing why I'm, I'm sharing this not for sympathy. I'm sharing this to show you. I understand. Okay. This is all I'm approaching 50 when this is happening. So now I got this thing on my foot. I'm just free to start. Like I figured out my back and my arm. I got people messaging me like my knee, my shoulder. I'm like, listen, I got you. I'm navigating this. The boot comes off. And if the three wasn't enough, 
when the boot comes off, I break my toe and ends up in a fourth, fourth surgery. So I learn a lot about the pain cycle. I learn a lot about inflammation. I learn a lot about injury, what causes, how we can prevent the pain cycle, how this links with fat loss and what happens when we age. I'm giving you that background story to show you that I got you. Now, I know some of you didn't even come on for pain and inflammation and injury. I got, and I understand that the method I'm about to go through with you works for fat loss and it works for pain, injury, and inflammation. It is the same method, what I'm about to show you. So whether you're on and you're like, I've got to release 50 pounds. I'm over my metabolism, my hormones, or you're on, like, I don't really need to lose weight, but I understand this pain thing. You're in the right place. I can help you. Okay. The same method I've used to help over 255,000 women, mostly men too, but mostly women lose and release the weight I have modified and tweaked and perfected to really address this as well. So I'm really excited to chat with you right now tonight. The one favor I have for you before I jump into the lessons, which I'm about to do and teach you these concepts. My question for you, that's really important is, are you open-minded now? Think before you answer it. Think before you answer it. I'm going to, you're going to give you a chance to answer it in just a second. I'm asking that question because a lot of you came on getting ready to take a bunch of notes on foods to eat or the workout moves to do. And that's not what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be teaching you some concepts that are more important than that. They're more important than that. And what you've done up until this point in your life, everything you've done in your life has gotten you to right here, right now today. Like you right now on this session are a result of every single thing that's happened. You've learned in your life right now today. And I know, yes, Jean Marie, it is hard. I get it. That's why I'm asking first, like, think it through. Like, can I be open-minded for an hour with Natalie Jill right now? <laughs> like, can I just do it? Can I try it on for an hour? You know, can I just try it on? Because, um, this stuff can change your life, but it can't change you. If you're, if I'm going like this, you know, if I'm, if I'm trying to hit this, um, this wall of, but this, but this, but this. So that's why I'm asking that. So if you can have an open mind, amazing. If you can't, yeah, I might not be the girl for you right now. Cause I might, I'm going to shake up some things for you. And typically when I start showing some of this, um, you're going to have what I call false assumed truths. I call, I have a little acronym when I say I kill fat for a living, it's false assumed truths. So these little things pop up, like, I don't know. I didn't, I don't, I don't believe that. But what I'm going to just remind you is everything you've learned got you to right here, right now today. So this is why I want to, I want to just change things up for this hour. And after this hour, you could be like, that was okay, but I'm done with you, Natalie. <laughs> or you might be like, you know what? You really, you got me. You got me thinking and I'm going to move in the right direction now. Okay. Um, so that's, that's why we're here tonight. Okay. I love at least a very type a somebody wrote, they have the MTHFR gene, by the way, just a little, um, not to go down my, my sob story world. I just shared all my injuries with you. Um, I'm also autoimmune. I'm also almost 51. I also have the MTHFR gene. So I, I'm familiar with that. I'm so I got you. You listen, you're in the right place right now. I understand people think I'm all, you know, tough and you know, she's excuses or solutions and she's just genetic. I've worked through a lot of stuff. I've worked through a lot of stuff, including my dad dying at age 49 of a heart attack. It's in my family. Um, so, and so I got all the things, so we're going to bust through some stuff tonight and I'm going to show you what works. Okay. So you ready to get started? Are you ready to get started? Uh, by the way, just a little, um, favor. I know some of you are sending me DMS right now, like direct messages, private, um, and I request that you don't do that. Let me tell you why I'm going to be focused on teaching. And I'm going to be glancing through the comments and I'll be answering questions at the end, but my team is helping to support what's coming up. So if you send it to my direct, we won't see the message. So just, I'm going to encourage you to use the everyone, if you can, uh, that would be ideal. Uh, that way we can all see what's happening. And just a quick reminder, I'm going to teach, then I'm going to share an opportunity for thrive. Some of you will be a candidate. Some of you will not be. And then I'm going to take all questions and I'll stay on as long as needed and do everything we can possible to help you tonight. Okay. So ready for concept number one. All right. Number one, drum wall. <laughs> I always get nervous to say this because you're like, you're going to go, what? Is that easy? Okay. Number one, the very first step in breaking through all of this is making a decision. Okay. Remember you said open mind, Jean Marie. Remember, okay. We're going to make it, we're going to, we have to make a decision. What does that mean? Well, deciding truly comes first. You see, most of us enter through our health, our fitness, our body with this idea that we've tried everything and nothing works. We have this, this idea. I've tried everything. I've tried everything. Nothing works. 
we haven't actually come to a decision that we are ready to change things. A decision is a definitive, definitive line in the sand that this is the year that this is going to change for me. This is the year that I'm going to release 40 pounds. This is the year that my autoimmune is not going to stop me. This is the year I'm going to reverse my type two diabetes. This is the year I'm going to get my blood pressure down. This is the year I'm going to be out of pain. This is the year I'm going to be able to be active again. That's a decision. This is the year I'm going to fit back in a size 10. This is the year I'm going to get to a size eight, but these are decisions. Now, so many times we are not operating from decision when it comes to our health and our bodies. We are operating decisions in other areas of our life, which is really interesting, but we don't like you operate in a decision to get on this session right now, but why aren't we operating in decision when it comes to our health and our bodies? And I'm going to just, I'm going to walk through this because I want to really help you with this, but this is Terry when I met her. And when I met Terry, everything in her life was working for her, but her weight. Okay. And her weight was creating all kinds of issues for her. So now she had health issues. She had pain. She had inflammation all related to her weight. She was middle midlife, like a lot of us on here. Okay. And Terry had given me a whole list of all the things she tried before. Like many of you, I've tried all these things, all these things. I have all these diagnoses and I've tried all the things. And when Terry wanted to work through my thrive method with me, I asked her, what's your actual decision? And she gave me some answer. Like a lot of you started on this session with, with something about, well, I'm trying, but it's hard, but I've tried. And I had to interrupt that and say, Terry, what are you actually deciding? What's your actual decision that you want for yourself this year? And we had to work through this, but what she did, what she got, which I'm hoping you'll get today is she had to decide she wanted to release the weight. And when she actually decided that she would release the weight, this person here was able to start taking actions that this person here would be because she had made a firm decision. You see, when we make a definitive decision, we're already setting it in motion that we are going to find a solution for it, that we are going to make this work for us. Think about this in your life, in other areas that are working. Everybody has some area of their life that's working. What did you actually decide? Like if you decided to pay off a debt or you decided to uh, purchase a home, you decided to drive your car longer or get a new car. We make decisions every day to take a job, to quit a job, to start a business. We make decisions, but we haven't actually done it with our body. We've never actually done it with our body. Do we ever say, you know what? I might try to get married. <laughs> like we don't, we don't No, We either, we decide we're getting married. Do we say, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to try uh, to see where I want to live. No, we, we make decisions. So we've got to start doing it with our bodies. So this is where I see a couple of men on here too. So just to show you, this is not just a woman thing. This is Jim when I met him. And I love Jim's story because when I met Jim, he had decided the wrong thing. He had decided this was his genetics. He had decided that his high blood pressure, his high blood sugar, his aches and pains, his injuries was his destiny. He had decided this is the way it's supposed to be. My parents were like this. This is me. And anyone that had seen what ran into Jim would have said, that's your genetics, middle-aged man. And this was him. Okay. About the, imagine if he ran into Jim right now and he said, this is my genetics. You go, yeah, it probably is your genetics. Jim was really determined to try something else. And I said, Jim, I, I don't want you to try anything else. I want to, let's talk about what you're actually deciding. And Jim jumps right in. He actually decided he made a decision that he was going to be the fittest he's ever been in his life. So much so that he'd look like a fitness model is what he said. And he said he'd be so fit that people would stop him and say, that must be genetics. And because he's going to be that fit, he wouldn't have pain anymore. So he started operating from that decision. And I just want you to see him right now. Look at this. This is the same guy. This is the same guy. Can everyone see it clearly? Same guy. Now this was not in four weeks or eight weeks. I want to be clear. This is a year. Okay. But this is a decision. This is a decision. You have to decide first. What's so interesting about Jim is right now, when people see him, they say, oh, that must be genetics. That must be, and he gets a kick out of it. He thinks it's funny. He'll screenshot and send me a little, like every now and then a little, somebody wrote that on one of his pictures or something. All he did was decide. Now I'm not saying this was easy from here. Of course he took actions and did things, but it started with a decision first that he was going to be, he was going to create. You see, we have to create different thoughts actions and habits to get results. But that thought starts with a decision. Thought starts with a decision. Who knows Oprah? Who likes Oprah? 
who remembers watching Oprah back in the day. Some of you don't, some of you do. I love Oprah. I'm, I'm like, I'm a girl fan over Oprah always. She's on my vision boards. I love Oprah. Um, she, um, she, I used to watch her show religiously years ago. And now I listen to like podcast replays sometimes of her old shows. And I listened to one a few months ago and they had um, a psychologist on talking to parents of toddlers. And the parents were all asking, how do I get my toddler to not sleep in my bed? I mean, how do you remember those days when like, most of you probably have grown kids or teenagers if you have kids, but do you remember the toddler days? Like I, I only wish my 15 year old would go back to toddler day right now sometimes, but, but, um, she, they used to want to sleep in my bed. So I understood that. And I would cave and I was a sucker and I didn't know what to do about it. And the, everybody was asking on Oprah, how do I, um, get my toddler to not sleep in my bed anymore? And what was so cool about it was, um, the psychologist get this says to the parents, your toddler will stop sleeping in your bed when you decide your toddler will not sleep in your bed. And I thought, oh my gosh, there it is. Yes. When we decide things, that's what happens. Okay. So here's the thing about decisions. Decisions have to be firm in our mindset, but we also have to declare them. Meaning when you make a decision, you can't just keep it in your head and let it float there. You got to get it out somewhere. You got to declare it. So like level one, I'm going to encourage you to do this right now. Level one is just to take a note right now on your, on your worksheet or your journal. But number two, if you really want to set it in motion, I want you to actually write it in the comments here. It's just public for those of us on this session right now, but literally write it. Christy, awesome job. I love what you just wrote, but write it like that. I've decided I'm going to what? Just write it right now. I'm just going to prompt you with a few things. I've decided I'm releasing 10 pounds. I've decided I'm releasing 40 pounds. I've decided I'm lowering my blood pressure. I'm deciding that pain is not going to be in my way. I've decided that my autoimmune is not going to stop me. I've decided that I'm going to be the fittest I've ever been in my fifties. I've decided 60 is going to be the best year of my life. I want you to actually write what I've decided. I love this. Yes, Lisa, that's great. So one little tweak on decisions as you're writing them, um, keep them out of action. So meaning like, don't say like, I've decided I'm going to not eat junk food. <laughs> don't do that. That's an action thing. Say like, I, well, tell me what you want. Like I've decided what I want for myself. I've decided I'm not going to have cravings. I've decided I'm going to release the weight. This is great. Lisa's going to release 20 pounds. By the way, a little language tweak that I love to use with my members of Thrive. I use the word release versus lose because like when you want to lose weight, that means you're finding it again. I don't, I don't like saying I lost, like when you lose your keys. So I say I'm releasing, like it's gone. So it's just a little tweak. I've decided, yes, some of you are writing it. I'm releasing. Yes. Good job, everyone. Thanks for, yes, this is great. I've decided I'm going to release. So concept number one is all about decision and you making a decision, even sometimes when it's scary, even when you don't know the full answer yet, even when you have that self-doubt, even when you don't know what that's going to create yet, making that decision is that first step. So notice how your brain pops up these little things of why that's not a possibility. And I'm, I'm asking you to say, override that right now and just say what I've decided. So good job. Okay. Are we ready for concept number two? Okay. Number two, number two is this take takes the next level of decision. Number two is your vision. Vision is focusing on possibility, not problem. Vision is focusing on what potential there is versus your current circumstances. Vision is where you want to go and how it's going to feel when you land there. Vision is not the process. Vision is not the reasons why it's not gonna happen. Vision is not the how. Vision is what you actually want and how it's going to feel when you get there, okay? I'm gonna walk you through something here. I'm gonna help you with this. I want you to meet me 15 years ago. Okay, this is me 15 years ago. And I always have to, I always get like quiet here. Cause I worry my daughter's going to walk up because she's 15, as I said. And every time I show this picture, she's like, mom, really? Like, I'm, I would, come on. <laughs> that was like forever ago. Anyways, this was me, my, my, at the time here, let's see, I was, um, so I'm almost 51, 15 years ago, do the math 36. And this, I just had a baby. She weighed six pounds. I gained 60. 
So yeah, some of you might be like, well, you just had a baby. Yes, I did just have a baby, but she only weighed six pounds. I'm just going to put that out there. I ate a lot of McDonald's French fries. I ate hot fudge Sundays with extra fudge. I was depressed. Why was I depressed? Um, not just because of my hormones and postpartum, which I definitely had. I was depressed because it was 2007 and I was living in circumstance, like living in circumstance. One new sing, new single mom, because I'm going through a divorce at the time. So just, I want you to imagine if you've had a baby I'm going through a divorce pregnant. So I get a divorce when she's a newborn. I'm a new single mom. I've got hormone swings. I've gained a lot of weight. It's 2007. The housing market has crashed. I'm losing my house. I'm in debt massively for the first time in my life. Massively. I'm foggy head depressed. I feel super fake. Like I have no one to talk to about it because I didn't know yet what I know now. And I didn't share these things with people. So I felt I had to keep on this front. Like nobody can see what's going on in my world. I just moved to California from the East coast. So I didn't have friends. I had my husband that I was divorcing. I was miserable living in my circumstances, miserable. And the only thing that was keeping me going in my world was the idea that I was a new mom. Now, the one stable thing I had in my life was a job. I had, a, I did have a full-time job. The problem was I traveled full-time with my job and I couldn't travel anymore with a newborn. Clearly, how was I going to do that? So I had the weight of the flipping world on me. Some of you right now, as I'm talking, you either remember a time where you felt like that, or you, maybe you feel like that now with, with stuff going on. It couldn't, might not be that same situation, but I think some of you know what I'm talking about. I was fully living in circumstance, like could not see possibility. In fact, I would get annoyed at fit people. Like I'd see someone fit, like living a good life, like super annoyed, triggered, just like whatever triggered by happy couples. Like anyone happy, like triggered me. I was just really stuck in my misery and, um, everything changed for me one day. Um, I was on a walk and so I just want you to picture this for a minute. I'm walking my stroller. Remember Bob's stroller. I had a Bob stroller it was the secondhand one. I loved it. I had my Bob stroller and I had my two white labs. That was being in the picture, but I had Callie too. And I'm walking my labs and I've got my baby in the stroller and I'm at least getting out of the house and walking. And as I'm walking every step I take, like every step, every step, it's like, you're fat, you're a loser, you're broke, you're overweight. Like everything was just this. It was like a surround sound. Do you, do you, have you ever felt that? Like where you're just trying to get by your day or do something and every, you just have this voice telling you what's wrong with you. Like that, that's what was going on in my world. Everything is wrong with me. I am, this is repeating. I'm sad. I'm depressed. I'm just trying to get through this walk. And I come up to this window where it's one of those windows where it has, it's like a darker window and you have the mirror reflection. You know what I'm talking about? Like, so I can see a reflection of myself and I have this moment with myself and it was just a moment, but I have this moment where I fully saw myself for the first time, like really saw myself and what I was navigating. And for you right now, whether this story is relatable or not, it could be that you went to try something on and it didn't fit, or you got on the scale and you didn't recognize that number and you stepped off it and stepped back on and stepped off and stepped back on what, you know, these defining moments. I had this defining moment in the window with myself where I see things hanging on me that I didn't realize was there. And I see the dark circles and I see this sad woman looking back at me. And I just had this glimpse of, is this all that there is? And just for that moment, it was, wow, Natalie, is this all that there is? Is this all that there is? Is this what happens? You have a baby, you get out of shape, you get, you get off track, you get depressed, you become a loser. And like, your life just sucks. Like that's literally what I was having this conversation with myself. And for a moment, I decided that that could be something different. I could have a different reality. It was just a moment. And it was just a decision. Like I asked you to do earlier. Could I have something different? And in that moment, I decided that I wanted to explore something different. So I turned around, started walking home. And this time, as I was walking home, I started asking myself different questions. What if there was something else? What if I could be fit? What if I could be happy again? What if this is all happening for me, not to me? What if? One day I got married again. What if I ended up having a great relationship with my daughter? What if I end up releasing this weight and getting the best shape of my life? I just started having this what if conversation. And every what if I had, I want to be real, 
I'd have like two what ifs and then I'd have like three why I couldn't, you know, like what if this is possible and I'd have, but you can't, but you're broke, but you're this. And it was like, but what if? But what I noticed in this thought pattern was that every time I thought of a what if, I felt a little better. I felt a little bit better. I felt a little bit lighter than a circumstance. And it was a pretty cool experience. Kind of like when you just wrote what I decided, you probably had a little spark of, huh, is that possible for me? Is that possible? So I go home and I'm, I'm getting a little kick in my step now. Like, okay, I'm starting to feel better the first time in four months. And I'm feeling like a little bit better. And I turn on the TV and there's Oprah again. And this time on Oprah, she's talking about, she's a guest and they're talking about vision. They're talking about vision. And what they were specifically talking about was vision boards. Now, I didn't know what that was at the time. And I actually call them decision boards today. I'm not a fan of the word vision board and I'll explain why. Um, but I, this is back when we had a million, a million um, uh, magazines. Remember we used to all read magazines before we were all scrolling our cell phones all day. So I grabbed a stack of magazines and I started ripping out pictures of anything that inspired me, fit girls, happy couples, ocean views, whatever. And as I was pulling these pictures out, I noticed something pretty incredible. Every single image that made that, that I saw that it was something aspirational instead of being angry at them. And I was asking myself the, what if it created this different vibration with myself, it created this thought, this hope, this excitement of possibility. And it was really pretty cool. Like I was like, for the first time, I'm not feeling sad. I'm feeling hopeful. I'm feeling I could be in possibility. I'm feeling that. So I played with that some. From that day forward, I started acting as the person that was in those magazine images, the person that was on that board. And every single day as circumstances started popping up, I would force myself, took some practice. It took some coaching, but I got it eventually. Took surround sound of that, which I'll get into in a little bit. But I was able to train myself to focus only on what I want, not what actually currently is. And the more I focused on what I want, what I could create, the possibility, the more I started taking actions from those places, the more everything started to change. Let me share some other people. So this is not just me. I'm going to tell you these examples might resonate with you. So this is uh, Nicole when I met her. Nicole had everything in her life working for her, but her weight is what she would have said. And she was pretty overweight. And she told me that she could not stand being the girl that everyone said, oh, she's so pretty, but that body, she hated that. She hated being the pretty girl that was overweight, but it was affecting all areas of her life. Now, now she was in pain. She had, she was getting injured more. She was losing her confidence. It was affecting her work. It was affecting every area of her life. She was frustrated. So when she came to me, she was originally in circumstance. She decided she took the first step I've decided, but she gave me all the reasons why she couldn't change. And I asked her, what do you actually want? Which I'm about to ask you all in a few minutes. I said, what do you actually want, Nicole? What do you want for yourself? And she said, well, I want to release the weight. Great. Tell me what that looks like. That feels like that smells like when you get there. This is a new question for some of you. I made her describe this in vivid detail. So much so that she said it like this. She said, Natalie, I am going to walk into a room a year from now in a red fitted cocktail dress. It's going to be right above my knees. I'm going to be proud of my legs. I'm going to be proud of my figure. I'm going to feel glamorous. When I walk in the room, I'm not going to feel nervous. I'm not going to be scared of and shy. I'm going to feel super confident and heads are going to turn. In fact, heads are going to turn at me in this red dress and ask me what the heck I'm doing because I'm glowing. This is her now. That's Nicole now. She became her vision. Now, why did Nicole become her vision? She became her vision because instead of operating from circumstance here every day, she started operating from the person here that makes decisions from this place. She said, if I'm the girl here, what decisions do I need to make today? Who do I need to coach with? What do I need to eat? What do I need to do? What do I need to listen to? What do I need to focus on? She started doing those things and she started operating from vision. And that's how Nicole became this girl. We operate all areas of our life from vision, but not our bodies, just like we do with decision. Just like that. Let me ask you a question. How many of you have ever, like, would you ever, would you ever just go to your car and just get in there and just start driving? I know there's probably one of you that would, but most of you would not like, do we ever just go to our car and just start driving? Not really. Maybe on a slow Sunday afternoon, somebody might, 
but not normally. We usually know where we're going when we get in our car. We're very clear where we're going. We're going to the gas station. We're going to pick up somebody. We're going to run an errand, whatever. We know we're, go we're going to work, we're going to the gym, whatever. We don't just drive. Same thing if we all decided right now we're going on a vacation in Miami. We're all clear. We're going to Miami. And it's all paid for, by the way. It's all like, covered. I've covered your work. Your spouse is clear with you going. You've got the week off. It's awesome. We're all very clear on what we're drinking in Miami, what we're eating, what we're wearing, where we're hanging out. We would all get to Miami. We might, some of us will get there different. Some of us might take a train, some might drive, somebody might take an Uber, somebody might have to fly there. I'd have to fly there from California. Someone might take a boat. If they live, you know, on an island off of there. But we'd all get there because we'd be focused on vision and where we're headed. We focus on vision and what, where we're headed. So my question is for you, what's your vision? What is it that you want for yourself? What is it that you want for yourself? Level one, write it on your notes or on your worksheet right now. Level two, write it here. You're going to want to write a lot more later, by the way. I know I'm asking you a really big question in a really short amount of time, but just give me something that jots, just a spark with you. What is your vision? What is your vision? Now, some of you might notice at this time that you're like getting excited. This is pretty cool. You're like, huh, I never really thought about this. Some of you might be annoyed by me, like, wait a minute. And I just want to remind you, if you're annoyed by me, remember we talked about at the beginning about having an open mind, that everything you've done up until this point got you to right here, right now today. And this is the part that we tend to skip. We don't take the time to think of our decision and our vision with ourselves. I love what you're writing. Confidence, strength, energy, Michelle, to be fit, healthy, confident. So Michelle, whether you write it here or not, but go deeper on your, with your own self. Like, what would I be wearing? Like if I could achieve what I wanted, what would I be wearing? I've heard women say I would be wearing shorts and not feeling self-conscious, or I'd be walking and my thighs wouldn't be running together. They rubbing together. They feel, they'd feel good. I would have lean definition on me. I'd be glowing. Yeah. I love what you're writing here. This is great. Yeah. So knowing what your vision is, is the second step here. It's so important to know what our vision is. So here's, what's really important about vision. You've got to create a surround sound for vision, meaning it's really great to understand and step into your vision. But if you are surrounded by people that don't support your vision, it's very challenging. We know that. So we got to fix that. Okay. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about that in a little bit, but really important, like to surround yourself, whether that's with a coach that gets it, a team that gets it, or it's just books and podcasts and magazines, whatever you've got to surround yourself with people that get that. If you are excited about your vision and your whole world is telling you why it can't happen, that's not the surround sound we want to create. So just something to keep in mind, really important here. We can't change other people, but we can change us and what we let into our world. Really important. Okay. I'm going to get into number three. Um, and there's so much more vision I could talk about. Um, I don't want to overload you here because for some of you that start thrive with me, um, tomorrow, we go deep into vision. We do so much there, but one thing I do want to share with you, cause I know not everybody will be doing thrive or be a candidate for it. Um, the, the, when you think about vision, and you have that surround sound of people that are not supportive of it, or you have um, these objections that pop up, like why you can't like, oh, but that's not possible. I'm too old. It's too late or whatever, whatever those are. I call those false assumed truths. And it's really critical to recognize, not be enrolled by, but to recognize what the false assumed truths are, because it gives you power over them when you know what's popping up. We don't want to let them take over, but we need to recognize what they are. So like saying uh, I'm too old, for example, a lot of times when I say that I'm almost 51, someone might go, well, you don't look 51. And I always think like, well, what's 51 supposed to look like? Like that's a false assumed truth that we've been believing that something's supposed to be a certain way. There's false assumed truths everywhere. And it's really important to start recognize what are the beliefs that you've been holding on to there. Okay. Concept number three is action. Number three is the things that you do. You have to do stuff, right? You have to dial in nutrition. You have to move your body. You got to do things. However, action as critical as it is, 
It will not get you anywhere if you are not clear on decision and vision. You see, the reason people fail, lose motivation, get stuck on willpower is they're not clear on decision and vision. You got to be really clear on that. Once you're clear on that, the right actions can feel empowering. They can feel easy. They can feel amazing. Now, when it comes to action, I'm going to give you just a few little, little bullets here um, that could change a lot for you. I think there's way too much stuff out there that's garbage. And there was a time when I thought, there was a time when I thought years ago, back when I was that girl, I showed you that picture of a few minutes ago, that the only way to release weight was to eat less and move more. That's the time when I thought that. And we tend to, especially as women, believe that. Even if we learn something else, we'll, we go back to that. Do you ever think that there has to be a better way? I'm just asking you. Do you ever think that? <laughs> yeah, what's what everyone tells you? Right. Yeah. Go, okay. If it was that easy just to eat less and move more, wouldn't we all be like super fit? <laughs> it's not that easy. It's a little more complicated than that. But I'm going to simplify this for you. And I'm going to start with the idea that so much of the diet industry, the diet industry out there has been so focused on deprivation, all the things you can't have. And when you focus on all the things you can't have, that doesn't feel good. Feels like deprivation. And it feels like we're a failure when we fall off track and do something wrong. Who knows that feeling? Like don't have this. And now I did it. What's wrong with me? Oh, I better eat more, eat less and move more. And it doesn't work. And then we go into the same loop and we're not clear on our decision, our vision. And we're back to taking a class with me again, right here. So it's, it's, it's we do this loop, right? Okay. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. So I'm going to invite you to, to just one thing to start trying. Okay. I have so many little things I could teach you and I do that and thrive, but I, I'm, again, we only have this out this, we're going to go a little bit over the hour, but we only have this time. So I'm going to, one of the things I want you to start looking at is the idea of what if, you could start adding in more of the amazing, more of the not so, the more of the really amazing, great foods that help with inflammation, that help with weight loss, that help you feel good, so that you just make less room for the not so amazing. But I tell you, nothing's really off limits. Wouldn't that feel good? Let me tell you about Allison for a second. Okay, when I met Allison, um, she really got decision and vision. Like she was my star student with decision and vision. She got it. She's like, I'm, I'm, she calls me NJ. NJ, I got it. <laughs> decision, vision, I'm clear. She described her vision to me. Her thing she was stuck on was she loved Cheez-Its. She loved Cheez-Its, like darn, and she loved a lot of different foods, but she really loved Cheez-Its. Now, Allison had even had gastric bypass surgery and gained it all back. So she was committed, but she was like, not, nothing was really like working with her. So her whole thing was, I got the decision. I will operate from vision. I'm going to work with you, but I want Cheez-Its. Great. So I said, Allison, here's what we're going to do. She had a lot of pain in her body, a lot of pain in her body. A lot of inflammation, swell, her ankles would swell, all the things. I said, we're going to start focusing on what are all the great things that you need to add in every day? Like all the good things that you could add in, all the unprocessed, natural, real foods we're going to focus on. I want you to get in uh, as many of those as you can. I promise you're not going to want a lot. I'm going to show you exactly what to do here, but let's do that. If you still want your Cheez-Its or anything else after, you can have them. So what happened was after a week of adding in all of the good, that I had her adding, she didn't want those Cheez-Its anymore. It just, she stopped wanting them. I never took them away. She started feeling so good how we were balancing things and how she was focused on the wins. Like I added in more water. I added in more. I mean, okay. You, you all know, even before taking a course with me or me going into detail, you pretty much know good food, bad, like not so good food, right? We know like broccoli, good <laughs> Reese's peanut butter cups, not so good, <laughs> right? Like we know, we know, like I, you don't, I could go into all kinds of details and tweaks on foods, but focusing on more of the good, this is, this is her now. I just want you to see, and she's even lighter than this. Now she's released even more. So this was all focusing on how do I add in more of the good, make less room for the not so good. Okay. A little bit earlier, I shared that I'm going to teach you some concepts and then I'm going to share with you a little bit about Thrive and then I'm going to take questions and I'm about to get into that section right here. So you want to stay on because I'm going to do a lot of questions. But before I share what Thrive is, um, I want to say this. It's kind of like a computer software upgrade. You know how on your computer, sometimes you get the little spinning thing, like your computer's not working right. It's going slow. Or is that just me? It's like where it's like the little thing spinning and you're trying to play a video or something and it just won't go. That happens to me all the time. And I'll scream for my husband, like Brooke, like he's like, he's tech support or something like, Hey, what's wrong with my computer. 
and he'll come up and all of a sudden he's like, Natalie, you just need to upgrade your computer. You need to update it. Okay. I, I never take the time because things spinning and I'm moving, I'm busy. And I'm like, I don't have time to update my computer. But when I actually update it, I see Lauren on here. Lauren never waits to update her computer. She's on it. <laughs> so when you, when you update your computer, everything runs better, right? Thrive is like an updated computer software. When you go through the Thrive method, what I'm about to show you, it's an upgraded computer method. Everything runs better. You live in decision. You live in vision. You start feeling elated, empowered. You are on fire. You, everything starts making sense. You start focusing on addition, all the things you can add in. You have a surround sound group of people that are supporting you and cheering you on and you win. You win. Everything runs better in your life. I'm such a huge fan of this method that's taken me, by the way, 14 years to fully create. My Thrive Method has been something I've been developing for almost 14 years now. It started as my seven-day jumpstart method. I've evolved this to make this work, and it's perfected for especially women in our 40s, 50s, and beyond. Around, if you're around my age, this is ideal for you. They're navigating hormones, menopause, all the things. I get you. What this is, and I'm about to extend an invitation to you. It's an eight-week program, and I'm going to have my team put a link in here, okay, it's just so it's here. It's an eight week program where I simplify everything for you. And I hand hold you through this for eight weeks. I hand hold you through this for eight weeks. Now, as I show you what this is, I just want to share this invitation is not for everybody. Um, it's not for everybody. It's for those of you that want applied learning time and who my messaging resonates with. And at any point, as I share this with you, you might become clear that this is not uh, for you and that's fine but I'm going to show you what this is. Can you guys see the screen? Rachel, can you see the screen? Okay, cool. This is Thrive. So when you join Thrive and we put the link there, you actually will have, it's a, we teach you in three different ways. Uh, number one is you'll actually have login to the site here and you'll start here. Uh, you'll start right away. Um, and we basically go deep into getting an intake form from you, trying to understand you a little bit better first. Then you start week one, and we walk you through all the stuff I just taught you earlier. We go a lot deeper to really get to your clear vision, your driving core motivator. Um, I really help you dial in this by the end of week one, because you're doing all these things and you start feeling amazing and you're eating well, and you're feeling better. You're already starting to release weight. So typically week one, by the end of week one, people have released about five pounds. Why? Because not just the fat that you lose, you lose excess water and bloat. So you start feeling empowered and good. By week two, you are on fire. You're like in it, you're feeling amazing. We start really looking at how do we not let false assumed truths and stuff pop back up. We're still releasing weight. We move over to about two pounds of fat loss per week. Uh, by week three, you're feeling super empowered when it comes to nutrition, you're breaking through the pain cycle. You're starting to notice that things that were hurting are not hurting anymore. You're having fun with this. You're not counting calories. You're not counting macros. We do all this thinking for you. You're eating foods that you like. We have detailed meal plans optional that you can follow. And we help you pick which one is right for you. Um, by week four, you, you have now released probably eight pounds by the end of week four. It's not uncommon to have released eight to 10 pounds and you're feeling really intense and amazing. And that's when we start really having some fun because we go a lot deeper onto things to help you keep it going. Now, in addition to all this, um, I don't just have you go in here and have the PDF and the site and the videos, which by the way, we've released the videos in bite-sized chunks. So you get um, a small dose of these videos every week. Uh, we release them, they're bite-sized chunks, they're shorter. So you do them on your own time. But in addition to that, we have a weekly live Zoom call with me, just like this, where I'm actually teaching you, but I'm asking, answering all of your individual questions and helping you customize. So I really coach you there. We also have an optional private Facebook group where I have got coaches and all of your questions are answered in there and you meet new friends, you get support system all the way around. That's what we do in Thrive. The key with Thrive, the key with Thrive is there's absolutely no question that if you follow that method and you do this with me, that you get radical results. There's no question. So much so that I guarantee it, by the way. Meaning if you jump in, you do Thrive, you do the method, you come to the zoom calls, you do the program, like you log in, you actually do it and follow it. If you don't get results, I would give you back your money. It says it on the page that we just put here. You have it on video here. We send you the recording here. Um, so yeah, because I want you to, I don't want you to waste time, not getting results. So you show up for yourself and you do the program. We guarantee it for you. So 
who are my detail people? You're like, that's nice, Natalie, but I got, I got a lot more questions. Who are my Tara's detail person? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to Tara and feel free to ask any questions that you have too, but I want some of the detail things that come up are okay. That's great, Natalie, but how, how much of your actual attention do I get? Um, number one, we cap this on 150 new people, 150 new people. As of the time of this class, I know that we had 24 spots left, just so you know. 24 spots left before we start the call. We cop it at 150 new people. And I'm the one who leads the calls each week. So it's personally me. I have coaches that help in the Facebook group. Yes. I've got a support team that helps, but it's personally me that created all the content. And it's personally me on the zoom calls live with you. The next detail question I get is, well, when are the zoom calls? When are the zoom calls, <laughs> the zoom calls, um, we give you a schedule. Um, as soon as we start the very first one, the kickoff call is this Thursday. We do it this Thursday at four Pacific time. Don't worry, we record it if you can't make that one. And then we give you a schedule of all the calls for the next eight weeks. And we move them around different days, different times to make sure everyone can attend some. We record all of them and send them out within 24 hours if you can't make a live call. But we give you all eight in ahead of time so you can plan and try to attend, attend them. That's what we do. Uh, the next detail question I get is what if um, I know I'm picky eater, I don't like foods, I'm allergic, whatever it is. We have swap out options for everything. Um, number one, everything is gluten-free. Don't worry if you're like, I don't want to eat gluten-free. I teach you unprocessed food eating. So it's naturally gluten-free. That's number one. Number two, one of my plans is dairy and grain-free. If you choose to do that, if you want dairy and grain-free, that, that we have that plan option. Uh, every plan I have has swap out options for everything. So let's say the meal says chicken and spinach and I don't know, whatever. It's stuff you don't like what you would do is we teach you categories. So you would go, okay, I don't like chicken. So you would look at the protein and you would pick something else from the protein category. So we give you all that. We have choices for recipes or just, we have a, even a plan called build a meal where you don't even have to, um, you don't even have to, you don't have to do any recipes. Like the build a meal, you just pick from each category and build your own meal. Sometimes I live that way. Like I just have the main things in my fridge and I just toss them together and that's what I'm having. So we teach you, we teach you all those, all those ways. Yeah. Um, other detailed questions I get is, um, how do you keep us accountable? How do I work out? So let me, let me talk to you about that. Workouts are fully optional on this plan. You will get results, whether you work out or not. We do so much of the mindset stuff that like we've done on this session today and so much nutrition that you get results from that. However, if you want to work out, I do follow along workouts that are pre-recorded. They're all 10 to 15 minutes. You could do more of them piled together. If you want, they are all free and friendly for injuries because that's my, my jam. <laughs> so I know that. So whether you are, have dealing with injuries or you're not, you'll be able to do them. They're all body weight. You can do them at home on your own time. They're led by me real time. So you, you'll, they're pre-recorded, but you'll actually follow along and hear me modifying them uh, as we go. So you don't need any equipment. You don't need a gym. You don't need anything like that. Um, how long, and then the next question I'll typically get is like, am I typically on my own on this? No. You'll have login and be able to do the program at your own pace for no issue at all. Um, but um, weekly, uh, we do those calls and the calls, I say they're 60 minutes. Sometimes we go about 90 minutes. I just want to be real because I, I don't, I don't get off until I've answered every question. So if you're like Tara, if you're in there and you're like, I really need help with my specific thing, I'm going to go through your stuff with you. So I don't, I really do it. And some, one of the favorite things of people are these zoom sessions because you're learning me coaching other people. Those recordings are only shared for you all. So they don't go on my social media. They don't go anywhere else. So it's very private just to our group. The group itself is private too. Only my coaches and you are in the actual group. So nobody else knows what you're doing or sees what you're doing, any of that. And we fully support you with that. Um, let me see. I just want to make sure I'm answering. Did I answer your questions about that? And I want to take, if you have any other questions, um, please let me know in the comments and I'm going to, I'm going to answer these, or you can raise your hand too. And I'm happy to take you on and answer. Can you keep going to gym and skull classes? Yes, you can. Absolutely. You can still absolutely do that. Do you have to have a scale? No, you do not. How many coaches do you have for this group? I will have three coaches in the group. Plus me three coaches. Plus me, I have one main coach and then two coaches that are, have done my programs many times before. And we, they break, they're on answering questions too. And then I also have two support people for my team. So you're well covered. So not only are there three coaches in the group, there are two support team members that are constantly checking to make sure you're not having any uh, trouble there. I also answer every question direct. 
How do I manage if my husband and kids are not on this program? No issue at all. It's all based on real natural food, no supplements required, no pills, no shakes, no potions, nothing like that. It's real food. So you can do this. I started developing this when my daughter was little. So she ate things on there and I show you how to easily modify. So you don't have to, you know, do totally separate meals for them, anything like that. Um, do I take current physical activity into plan? Yes. With the meal plans, Tracy. Yes, we do. So the meal plans are pretty, um, how do I explain it? So, so most, most of you coming in, we start with the same plan. Basically, you're going to start with the same option, but we show you in there how to add more or less based on your activity. And we, I also help customize and tweak on those sessions. That's part of why we do those weekly sessions, why they're so important, because I'm going to help navigate that through. We typically, most people that do thrive, most people have 20, 30, 40 pounds to lose. I just want to be real, but we do have people that come in every now and then that don't have a lot of weight to lose. They're just navigating pain or changes and it's fine. So we'll, we customize for that. We help them. We help them do that. So absolutely. You have access to the program for the lifetime of the program lifetime. Of, as long as I'm selling and alive doing total body thrive, you have access to the program. What changes is each time we do it, there's a new group, a new Facebook group and new uh, zoom sessions. And that is what people are joining. So in this thrive, for instance, we have people that came back as alumni. So they, they pay a reduced rate to come back as an alumni and be able to do the next sessions of zooms and Facebook, that type of thing. But the actual program you have access to for life is the program alcohol free Jean Marie. Good question. So if I take alcohol totally out of the program and say it's off limits, nobody will join. <laughs> I already know that. So no, it's not on the program, but I show you how to count. I show you how you can count wine if you want it, how to count alcohol. So yes, we're not requiring alcohol. That would be a whole next, I've made jokes with my friends. Like I should start a program called the wine and uh, chocolate diet. <laughs> like I would, I'd be a gazillionaire, right? No. So we don't have it on there as far as like, but I show you how to include it if you really, if you want it. Yes. So there's that. Um, let's see. So I recommend low carb or keto. Uh, neither, neither, uh, Jessica. So if you are keto or low carb, you can still do the plan. Um, but what I, I'm pretty much against anything that's extreme. I just, I am. So I'm going to teach you in the program about fasting, intermittent fasting. So I want you to know what that is. I'm going to teach you what keto is. I'm going to teach you what carnivore is. I'm going to teach you all the things but I have a very specific way of, I like lifestyle eating. So I want it to be something you can do forever. And some of those things are very extreme. So for instance, keto, for example, is healthy for a lot of reasons. Great. It get your blood sugar down. You can lose weight. Uh, it doesn't help you stay young looking. It can rapidly age you when you go keto vegetables, fruits, all that stuff is healing for us. So I'm not a fan of it, but I've had people do my program that want to stick to those things. And you can, you can, it still fits into the program and you'll, you'll see how. Uh, but I teach an unprocessed natural food diet that really is a great, simple and easy, fun way to eat. You'll be surprised at how easy it is. And look, I, I have a podcast releasing in another week. I interviewed somebody that created the carnivore diet. Like I I'm always learning. I'm always questioning and interested in new things, but I have not veered from what I teach because I see what works and I, and I'm all about women, especially not feeling deprived. I'm about you enjoying your life. I'm in all about it, not being all about weight and food. So I want to help you thrive and get healthy and enjoy what you're, what you're eating and doing. Um, Rita, are you in a place where you can play that video? I'm going to play a little video for you real quick. Just so I want to hear you to hear from some other women that actually, and a couple of men that actually did this method. So you can hear what they have to say about where they were in the meantime, while she's playing that, if you have any questions, feel free, put them in the comments. I'm also going to come back on after. And as I promise, I'll answer all your questions, even if not related to this, I want to definitely help you do this. Um, and Linda, uh, I'll talk to you about that too. You're, you don't have, there's nothing that's mandatory that you have to have. So it's not going to cost you more to buy the foods that are for thrive and Rita, whenever you're ready, you can play that. My name is Lisa. I am 53 years old. I'm from the Portland, Oregon area. And I'd like to tell you a little bit about what I experienced. And I'm having a little bit of a celebration because I've spotted my collarbone. Woo! I have not seen that in how long. For me, I average about a pound of weight loss a week. I'm continuing to lose. Uh, but more importantly, it was like nine inches I had lost. Hey, everyone. My name is Anita Collier, and I'm from Plainfield, Indiana, and I'm 53 years old. Ended up losing 20 pounds. Uh, seemed like easy, just effortless. Had a put up action. I lost about 20 pounds. For my very first drive with Natalie, um, I lost 25 pounds. 
Um, I kept it off. My name is Lisa. I'm 53 years old and from Plainfield, Illinois. I lost 16 pounds in five months. I still have a little bit more to go, but I'm in great shape. I'm much happier, a lot more energy. Since I started the plan six weeks ago, I've lost 20 pounds. I love my body right now, and I'm going to love it 30 pounds lighter. <laughs> I'm going to love it. And that's, you know, that is the biggest change that I've seen. It is possible to lose the weight forever and feel great in accomplishments. I'm now down 12.4 um, pounds. Uh, I'm like so excited. I've been wearing the sports bra, the sports bra and I'm like, wow, I actually, I actually look nice. And then the other day I did yoga after a long time and I was the poses and stuff. And I was like, wow, like I could do it without my gut like hanging. And uh, I know. And then the yoga instructor was like, wow, what have you done? You lost so much weight. I'm Dina. I live in Utica, New York. I'm 42 years old. Since I joined, I'm 12 pounds lighter. I'm motivated. I have healthier habits. My name is Lori Bushnell. I've lost 20 pounds. 20 pounds so far. I feel so good. My name is Corey Boney. I live in Crystal River, Florida. I have faced many health challenges my entire life. So I got to the point where I was 100 pounds overweight. My marriage fell apart. I had two kids and that impacted my life, my stamina, my my confidence, my emotional well-being. I'm in the was in the same boat that many people have probably found themselves in where you look at your closet and you you realize that the clothes that used to fit it's not only that they don't fit right, they just don't fit anymore. You cannot zip them up, you can't button them up. Constant food cravings, constant being hungry. And I came to the point where I didn't enjoy my life anymore. Imagine you are being hungry 24 seven. This thing for me was before I started this program, I was stuck. I was like, I know I wasn't happy, but I saw your video and the main thing was you said you haven't decided. I was like, wow, no, I haven't decided. So I declared it and I decided it. I was 177 pounds. I was depressed. I had the worst self image of myself. I have done Atkins, I've done paleo, I've done literally everything and I never found it sustainable for more than two weeks. Ready to change my situation. I just didn't know how to do it and I didn't have the right person to do it with. You know, I could take all of the hounding and all the suggestions and all of the complaining from family and friends, but it wasn't making me do it. Mm. I had to get into the mindset that you were teaching for me to be able to do it. Uh, when I was at my heaviest, I felt it in my joints. I felt it in, in my breathing and in my... Um, I really wanted to shed some fat. Three years ago, I had to adjust to a life with autism as I raised my eight-year-old autistic grandson. I became a very depressed person. I began gaining weight from the stress, stress eating. And on top of that, I was going into menopause. I'm hypothyroid. I have low blood pressure. So losing weight was a real battle and I was getting no support from my doctors. They were all telling me you're over 50. This is just something you have to deal with. I've been fighting a thyroid, hypothyroidism now for the last few years. In uh, October, my mother-in-law that, that lived with us for seven years had passed away. And then in November, my mom was diagnosed with breast cancer cancer and with all these stresses and I knew that I was just not doing good with with all the stress coming into my life and that's what I do when I'm stressed I turn to food and not good food for that matter so I needed a change and I needed it right away you know at my age it seems to be harder to drop the fat you're going through menopause you have all these issues in the way her pro program really proved to work. She never disappoints. If you follow what she says, it truly does work. My God, Nat, I just finished an amazing hill. Um, and I had to just record a beautiful love note for you because I was telling my nephew, I'm like, it's so hard to believe that we're 15 months later. I'm 56.5 pounds released because of your total body thrive. And 
I mean, I know I'm one of thousands of women that you've touched, moved, and inspired. I just have to tell you thank you. My entire life is different. My energy is different. My body is different. And those of us in our 40s, 50s, and beyond, we start believing something that's not true, uh, which is that we can't change, that we can't transform. And your program... I'm just so grateful that you're my friend and that you created this and that I was a part of it. She gives you all the tools, the solutions. You don't feel bloated. You don't feel tired. You have energy. I've been looking for years for something that wasn't a spirit diet and wasn't like con constricting and, and unfriendly and not user friendly. And your attitude and your methodology and the way you presented yourself was it just made it easy it just made it like a no-brainer it's like oh my god where has natalie been my whole life kind of deal i learned step by step how my body works how it reacts to food that i put in it and how i can and balance my meals without counting calories to get where i want to be i think the most important thing i learned was just the supplements what i was doing right what i was doing wrong and just to re re-educate myself on what the body needs, what, what it needs to be stronger, and just her advice has just been amazing to me. It changed my perspective on life. It changed my perspective on nutrition, on exercise. I became emotionally stronger, physically stronger. Something's working. The energy level that I didn't have, I struggled just to get out of bed. You know, my husband every day says how good I look and... He's proud of me as well as my kids. I was on vacation uh, last week, and the first time in a long time I felt great walking on the beach in a, in a swimsuit. I'm back in the clothes that were in my closet. It's like going shopping in my own closet. Um, it's incredible. I was able to change my mindset, get rid of all the negative self-talk that I had that was holding me back. I overcame my problem. I'm no longer hungry. I cannot stress enough how this is a program unlike anything I've ever seen before. I could go through the modules when it was convenient for me. I didn't have to make an appointment to go see somebody. The group with the support, you know, you feel like you're you're bonding with women that you've never met. It's nice to have that. Um, I noticed the best part was my coworkers at work that were watching what I was eating, which was great food. It wasn't like diet food. And just saying, it just seem like you're just shredding. It's just coming off so easy. So I think that's the key. It's just an easy program to follow it makes sense it's just the way we should eat one of the biggest things i've taken away from it is just this peaceful serene confidence that i have now tackled with once and for all i know how to eat right i know how to work out and the weight issues are never it's never going to be an issue anymore for me when she says you can lose up to five to seven pounds in a, in a week it really can happen it's a truly a lifestyle change it it's not a a week or two or a month diet and then you're done. It's uh, one of those things that I would do over and over again. I would recommend it to all my friends. If you're on the fence about doing it, um, believe me, the only thing you're going to lose is weight, fat, and you're going to feel so much better. I have more energy. I highly recommend this to anybody who's been struggling and trying all the different programs. All you have to do is decide to listen to Natalie and her team. They are inspirational. Natalie is like having a personal trainer, a best friend, a support system, a nutrition specialist, all rolled into one. I am so happy I invested in myself. If you have any doubts, please stop and think about it. This is the best thing you can do for yourself. You will not regret this. You know, my kids and I are very, very happy, and I owe that to the help of Natalie Chill. Trust in this team, and you'll get where you want to be. I promise you that. I could keep going on and on about all the positive things that it did for me, but it's something you have to experience. It's something only you can feel. If you let yourself experience this, you will never regret it. It will change your life. No one can force you to do it. You have to decide to do it. You have to come to that point. You know, you get sick and tired of it. So do something about it.
All right, everyone. I wanted you to watch that because I wanted you to hear from them. And I saw some questions come in um, that I wanted to address. I didn't want to type out the answer. So I wanted to make sure um, that I'm addressing. So somebody asked, um, Tiffany, if you're on still, um, I've tried several uh, programs. My biggest thing being motivated to stay consistent and learning what works. I get it. Hormonal changes, not feeling deflated. Uh, can I be confident in spending the money? Okay. What sets it apart? Um, loaded question there. A couple of things I want to share. Um, first of all, I want to just take the pressure away from everybody and just, first of all, share, this is not a now or never. I just want to be really clear, even though this one's almost full, it's not a now or never. I do these a few times a year. And I want people that are excited and confident and ready to get results, like really ready. Like you've decided you're ready to do this. And I sprint with those people. Like, so if you're like, I'm a heck yes, I'm in, I'm going to sprint with you. If you're like, um, anxious about it, or I, I don't, I don't want you to feel that pressure. So it's not an hour. Never just want to be really clear. It's truly an hour whenever you're ready. Um, if you are like, I am ready now, I want to go and you're concerned, let me help you. I'm talking to you right now, setting you at ease a little bit. Um, number one, I think you've started to see a little bit of my teaching style. Uh, if you've been on this whole session, how I work, I really work for coaching you in possibility. So even though I'm almost 51 and I understand hormone and believe me, I, there's a lot of information in the program, thyroid hormones, autoimmune, um, injuries, pain, inflammation. I cover so much of that. And I, I work with doctors and get, I even have guest doctors in the program talking about some of these things. I go deep on it where I coach you is from possibility and potential and your future version of you. So like, if you come in and Dory, I'm just picking on you right now. Cause I don't, I don't even know, but let's say, let's say Dory, you come in and you're like, I have this specific thing that's been holding me back forever. What I'm going to do is understand that thing, but I'm not going to coach into that thing. If this makes sense, like I'm not going to coddle that because if I say to somebody, you're right, that sucks, you know, you're doomed. You just have to accept it. I'm not helping you become a better version of yourself. So the way that I coach people in thrive is I look at what's going on and we look at what's possible for you. And I'm going to push you and coach you into that. Um, and that's how I like to coach. So if that resonates with you, amazing. Some of you don't like that, you know, but I, I really take a stand for, um, I, I'm truly a transformational coach. That's what I do. And I really am going to work into your future possible version of you versus like keeping you stuck where you are. That's number one. So how does it set us? How is this set apart? It's that N number two, it's not a, here's a PDF and you're on your own and just go like, I, I don't do that at all. This is a, I know people learn very differently. So there's a lot of different learning styles that come in and I hit all angles. So yes, you have PDFs and meal plans, but you also have bite-sized chunk videos. You also have the live sessions with me. There's also a Facebook group. Some people hate Facebook groups. They'll never even log in. That's fine. Some of you need that community and that's amazing. So we have, I really work with all of your different learning styles. I will tell you the number one thing people say they love about thrive is the zoom sessions. They like being on those sessions or watching the replay. They feel that's where they feel connected and keep going. Um, and people do like my eating plans because they say they're not hard to follow the first week might be a little, you're trying something new, right? So you're trying to figure it out, but that's what we're there to support you on and help you. But people like it because it's not based on deprivation. So I hope that answers how I, how this is set apart. Also, I do, like I said, an action takers guarantee, which is not a money back guarantee. Let me explain. So I don't do like a, oh, you can just buy it and return it in a week, you know, cause I didn't do it. An action taker guarantee is meant to help you too. So it's saying I'm committed. I'm ready to do this. And I'm saying you've got, let's both put skin in the game. You show up and you do this. If you don't get results, I'm happy to refund you because that's not fair to you either, but I want you to show up and do it. It's not fair to me if you show up and just do it and then you just want your money back. So I'm saying, let me help you and do that. So that's what I wanted to share about that. Let me see if there's other questions I, I missed here. Um, do you, you don't, Tracy, you don't have to weigh in for me tomorrow. Um, what happens tomorrow? Like, say, let's say you're, you're in the first kickoff call is not till Thursday. So what happens tomorrow is you get put into the Facebook group or invited in, you get the intro, you'll get the login and today, as soon as you do it, you'll log in, the new videos are released tomorrow. You have a few days to start looking over it and get introduced yourself in the group. I've got a welcome video waiting for you there in the group. You'll introduce yourself. You start looking through the materials a little bit. And then I explain everything on the kickoffs call Thursday. Now I do suggest in the intro stuff to have a starting point. Now this is personal for you, not for me, but I'll, I will say, Hey, let's, let's look at, you know, you want to have your starting points to so take pictures or measurements. This is just for you, not for me. You're not sending them to me. So yes. So I don't make you do anything like that, but I'm going to encourage that you have a starting point. Um, and at some point this week, when you do it. 
Okay. Let's see any other questions about anything, feel free to type it or raise your hand. I'm happy to talk with you right now. If you have any questions too, um, just raise your hand and I can unmute you and I can help you. Don't be shy. Cause I'm here to, I really want to stay on and help you right now, whether you're doing thrive or not, let me help you right now. If you've got questions. Natalie, there was one that popped in the chat a couple of times a while ago okay. about um, what if you're moving and you don't have access to a kitchen um, for a little bit? Yeah, that's not a problem. I could literally, I could teach you how to make a meal out of a gas station if you had to. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm not recommending that, but you would follow the build a meal guide and I would teach you what you could piece together. The cool thing about Thrive is you can eat at restaurants. You can go to a friend's house. Like you, I teach you how to eat anywhere. So yeah, some people love to follow the recipe plans and they want to follow it to a T and that's great. But I would say probably half people like to follow the build a meal guide where they're just, they're piecing things together themselves and doing it. So that's how that works. Um, how is your advice for material changes week one? I'm not sure I understand that question. Jean Marie, do you want to, I don't know what that, I don't understand that question. How is your advice? If you're in a place where you want to talk to me, totally unmute. I might just be reading it wrong, but I don't understand the question. Um, menopause is not killing you, but it doesn't feel amazing. So I'm going to, I help with that. I definitely help with that. Um, you feel so good on thrive. That's, that's what I want to say. I have so many people that come back as alumni because they feel good and they want to keep going and they want some of them become coaches. They want to coach others. It's such an awesome method. Um, so you feel good. Yeah. Tiffany, I am so excited to work with you. It's amazing. I get it. So I want you to think of this as, let me just talk about the money thing for one second here. Cause I get it. Like I, I fully get that. And I also get that for some of you, this is like an easy financial decision. And for a lot of you, it's not an easy financial decision. I understand that. And for those of you that it's not an easy financial decision, I'm going to give you just a couple of things that I learned a long time ago. One, I'm going to invite you to move a mountain. Like you're doing this for you too. It's not, this is not I'm buying Natalie's program. This is I'm investing in myself and I'm going to put skin in the game to get results. I price this at an amount that I know gets results. And I know that might sound really weird, but let me explain. I have programs for $37, $57. I got all kinds of, I got books on Amazon. You can get for 15. I got all that. However, what gets results is skin in the game. You guys know this. It has to sting a little bit so that you pay attention to it and you get results. And I want to keep the group small enough that I can actually help everybody. If I do it too low, I get too many people. So I price it that makes sense for that. And that gives you skin in the game for that. That's how I come up with that. We do payment plan options too, um, even as far as six pay. So you can really spread it out even past the program because I want you to, to be able to do this for you. And I'm going to invite you to make a decision from that future version of yourself. And just to give you, um, a real examples that happen here. And I've got some people on the session, even right now, I see them, they, they can say that they live this with me. When you get results in your health and your weight, and you start feeling confident and good, so much more opens up in your life. So much more opens up in your life. In fact, after people do thrive, the next program that they sign up for with me, because my next thing after thrive is my goal achievement program. Because what happens is people have such an amazing transformation during thrive. They feel so good that now they're like, what else can I accomplish in life? So they're on to like, I'm going to start a business or I'm going to find my spouse or I'm going to do this. So it opens up so much. So if you've got a heavy money story around that, I would be willing to bet there's something in there attached to the weight and what you're navigating there, just a thought and your health. And when you can break free of that, you are available. You are in a different space to create other things. So I'm just throwing that out there. Okay. Just something to consider. So I understand, um, but that's, that's what I want you to think about Jeannie, how many meals snacks per day? It's optional. I don't make you eat every few hours or anything like that, but we basically on the meal plans do three meals and too many snacks, but they're not mandatory. So some people want to have just two meals a day. Some people want to have all five and that is completely fine. You're going to get results either way. So we show you that we'll show you that. I'm excited for you to start too, Tracy. Um, D, uh, Dia, it is nothing like Weight Watchers, nothing like Weight Watchers. Weight Watchers is a complete point system. 
And it's not looking at different types of unprocessed natural food or foods that heal. It's strictly based on volume and calories and points. That's what Weight Watchers is. So if I have had people that do Weight Watchers do my program and that's fine, you can make it all fit into the points them. But mine is really focused on how do we combat inflammation? How do we combat hormone problems? How do we start getting better focus, better energy? How do we heal? So I'm really looking at whole natural real foods. I think they're super important. So I really look at that. Um, intermittent fasting. Absolutely. You still can do, um, traditional intermittent fasting. Y'all it means you eat all of your food within four to six hours, and then you don't eat the rest of the time. The reason I don't teach that as a main way is that's challenging to do for life. Like, come on, like it's very hard to consistently eat all your food or in four to six hours, but I do teach something in my plan called modified fasting. And you'll learn more about that. That's optional, but it does jumpstart quicker results. Um, so, but yes, if you, if you're committed, if you're like, I've been intermittent fasting and I want to keep doing it. Yes. But I'm also going to invite a lot of you. If what you've been doing is not getting you the results that you want, it might be time to let it go and work with me a little bit and sort of start over and sort of start over Sheila. I'm super excited for you too. Um, how do you have access to thrive? Okay. Um, Jessica, once you enroll and have thrive, you have access to that program for the life of the program. So you always have access to it. What changes is the eight weeks we have a group and the zoom calls, those will stop. You'll have recordings of it all, but those stop after eight weeks, but you always have access to the program. So that doesn't go away. Um, is the program mainly about food and what to eat, or does it dive into more area? Um, it's a trifecta program, meaning yes, we talk about nutrition. I, I call it state plate weight, a lot of mindset stuff, kind of like what we did tonight on this session, a lot of nutrition plate, and then weight is the movement. So we, I teach all three areas. I think they're all important. So we, we dive into all of that. Um, Tori, yes, I've heard the same thing, the mixed messages about it. Um, and part of it, it we're just a little bit different. But there is, and just to get, I don't want to overload you all with too much information, but what happens is when you're not eating, when you're, when you fast, when you don't eat, you're not secreting insulin. When you secrete insulin, you cannot be burning fat while you're secreting insulin. So the, the very basic way to describe intermittent fasting is you're stopping producing insulin while you're fasting, which means you're in fat burning mode. That's where that comes from. Um, there's a lot more science than that, but I, I'm not a fan, especially menopause, perimenopause. We get a lot of like cravings and hunger and smooth swings. And there's a lot of things going there. And there's a lot to be said with keeping your blood sugar at a stable pace. And so I look at both of those, both of those ways there. Um, somebody just asked if I'm a nutritionist. Yes. I'm a licensed master sports nutritionist, by the way, I, I am that just my credentials for those of you that have not have asked that my bachelor of science uh, from college is health and human performance, um, with a minor in psychology, believe it or not. So that's, that comes where a lot of this mindset stuff comes from. Um, and my, when I went through my own transformation, all of that, I became, I didn't like the information overload. So I started studying nutrition. So I became a licensed master sports nutritionist. And then that evolved in me learning how to be a functional fitness trainer. So I got all my credentials that way. Tiffany, does exercise ever work against weight loss? Yes, it can, but not what I'm teaching you in here. Um, it absolutely can for some people, um, how is a, is a big loaded question. It's a big loaded question, but let's just say you've got shot adrenals and you're trying to do really intense cardio stuff that could put your slowing down your metabolism. That's one way Two, you've got a lot of pain and inflammation, and now you're pushing it and getting more pain and inflammation. You could create a, an issue with metabolism and, and releasing fat. Um, also just doing cardio is another example. If you're just doing cardio without weight bearing exercises and, creating resistance, you can create issues there, which is being more hungry and having more cravings, that type of thing. So just stuff to think about. Um, but I go into more details on that. Um, okay. Linda, if you've got severe back pain, I am absolutely your girl. I'm absolutely your girl because this is my jam. I showed you that ruptured disc at the beginning, and I've had two surgeries to remove parts of that disc. And I've made everything lower back friendly for you. I wouldn't even have you doing exercise or movement on the program right away. I'd have you working through the mindset stuff and the nutrition, and I'd have you follow a meal plan two that's in thrive, which is really designed for pain and inflammation. And what I, my first goal with you would be to get you out of pain so you can move and start feeling good. And so I think you would thrive on this. I think you would absolutely love it. 
um, iPhone Jeanette, um, answer that a minute ago, but just in case you missed that, um, you don't have to eat any amount of meals a day. There is three main meals and two snacks, but it is completely optional how you combine them. So if you want to eat all your meals and two meals or three meals, or you like the five, that's all fine. You can, you'll still get results. Let's see any other questions. Hey, Natalie, I've yeah. gotten a couple questions. Um, what if someone has so, uh, like a lot of weight to lose and they think that eight weeks isn't enough. Got it. Yeah. That's a great question. And eight weeks is not enough for some of you. I'm just going to be real. Like, I, so the goal is we lose about two pounds of fat per week. So week one, you lose about, if you've got a lot to lose, you'll lose about five pounds week one, because you're going to lose fat, water, bloat. Then the goal is about two pounds of fat loss per week. Now, if you're like, that's not enough. I just want to share with you. That's a lot over a year. Think about that. I mean, think about how 52 weeks in a year, that's 110 pounds. So you will lose two pounds of fat per week. So what I, so realistic and thrive, I would say is like about 10 pounds a month. So 20 pounds over eight weeks is very doable and very possible. Absolutely. After that, what I do is you learn the method during thrive. So you keep going. So those transformations I showed you, they didn't happen during eight weeks. They jump started during that time and kept going. They kept going. So it, you don't even have to do thrive again. You just start learning the method and you keep releasing the weight. Any other questions? You guys get the award for staying on the longest and being the most interactive. I love you guys. I love this. I'm like, it's my final class. And I'm like, oh, they're, they're showing up. I love it. So Natalie, I yes. had a, I had a, um, clarifying for Jean Marie's question. Okay. Uh, okay. She was asking if you had any advice on how to make those mindset changes during week one. Ooh, well, yes, because I, every video in, in prep week and week one is designed to help you with that. So yeah, the whole, all the lessons are for exactly that. So it's going to help you. That's all of that. And my team has all gone through these processes. So everybody's coaching you with the same thing. Yes. Yay. Hi, Rita. Um, let's see any other questions. Ask me anything while you have me here. Ask me anything. There were a couple health related questions, Natalie, hypothyroid, yeah. um, PCOS, okay. um, yep. this support them with that. Yeah. So polycystic ovary syndrome, hypothyroid, all of that falls into the autoimmune camp. So yes, all of this will help with that. So, um, autoimmune is a, is a big umbrella, um, type one diabetes, juvenile diabetes falls under that celiac falls under that rheumatoid arthritis, MS, like there's a whole scope, um, uh, of things. And those two happen to fall under the autoimmune. So my plan number two is designed for autoimmune. So yes, it's going to help a lot with that. It's going to help a lot with that. And my plans, by the way, if you were to show my meal plans to your doctors, they would approve of them. Like I've never had a doctor go, this is, you know, they, this is based on real natural food. And I've had many doctors come through my programs. In fact, my spine surgeon recommends my program to his patients. Um, so this is, this is not, when you see what I teach in nutrition, you're going to say it makes sense. It, typically people go, wow, this really makes sense. It really makes sense. It's not, I'm not telling you to just juice celery and do nothing else. I'm not telling you to only eat carnivore. Like I'm not, I'm not telling you extreme things. We're talking about real natural foods that we're doing. So there is hope, Kathy. Yes, there's hope, but you got to, if you were on at the beginning, Kathy, you still have to make a decision. You'd have to say, I've decided, you see, this is false. Assumed truths are so real. You know, we have doctors and media saying, oh, you're going through menopause. You're going to gain this weight. And then we just accept it. Like it's going to happen, but we absolutely can change it. Um, I just got a question. Uh, do when we grocery shop, do we have to eat strictly organic? I recommend organic, but I do not require it. And I get more into that in the program. It's not required. It is not required. Um, yeah, I think you're welcome. Any hey, Natalie, will yeah. you touch on your, um, approach to workouts and if they're required and, um, like level of intensity? Yes. Great question. Okay. So workouts, first of all, are not required on the plan. You will get results without them or doing your own. That's fine. If you want to do workouts, my workouts are all follow along. They're body weight workouts. And I have different levels of intensity and I teach you something called intensity and progression in my programs. So I am of the mindset that everybody's intensity and progression is very different. So what's challenging for one person is maybe not challenging for another. So we work in with your own, we work on your own intensity and progression on something. And that's how we get results. So my programs, my workout programs in here, they're all 10 to 15 minute body weights. And if someone wants a 45 minute workout, they combine three of them. That's, that's easy 
easy to do, but I break it into parts and they're very friendly for injuries. There's nothing like high impact. We're not jumping, nothing like that. And you don't need a gym. And Natalie, that includes if they have limited mobility, correct? Like in correct. their knees. Mm-hmm. Correct. But that's not where we're going to start. If you've got limited mobility, I'm going to start you on mindset nutrition. And then I might start you on like the upper body, body weight type of thing. Yes. Uh, Peloton's fine. Tracy, that's all pretty much cardio. And that's it's, I don't do a program for Peloton, but you can totally, st- you can still do whatever you're doing workout wise on the program. Let's see. Um, can you, or have you done any videos on macros? So Teresa, when you do, um, if you do my program, you're going to learn a lot about what Mac, the basic idea of macros is how do we balance protein, carbs, and fats? But what I'm doing is I'm going to teach you a simpler method than actually just tracking macros. Cause when you truly just track macros, you're not actually looking at the nutritional content of food, like what it actually is. It's more like, we're just like anything can fit into macros. Um, but so what I'm doing is I'm going to teach you about protein, carbs, and fats in a different, a little bit of a different way that makes it a little easier to put things together. Um, Tori, I know that program cause I'm friends with her and have, okay. So Tori, um, she's one of my good friends that own, that does that program. And that program is amazing for a lot of reasons. Mine is very different than that. It is very different for that. And I just want to be real. I do get a lot of women, um, that are my age closer that ends up coming over to me, um, for this reason, because that program was, is not set for menopause and perimenopause and all of that. Um, so it's, it's just different. That program is strictly intermittent fasting and it's a lot of workouts. So this is just different. And I, quite honestly, we have people where her and I are friends, the owner of that company, by the way, um, we have people that do both programs, but they are very different concepts. They're very different concepts. Yes. Tori, I think you'd really thrive on thrive. Most of the people that come into thrive are in their forties, fifties, and sixties. I mean, that's just, that's just our, and it's not, that's not to say a 30 year old can't do ours. Um, but I would say it's typically mid forties, fifties, sixties that are doing thrive. Um, and I've really evolved this program to fit that, to fit that. See, I'm newly 50 breast cancer survivor, hysterectomy. So I can't take hormone replacements. I, yeah. Um, okay, great. Melinda. So Melinda, um, so yeah, actually it's funny. I have a lot of not funny, but I have a lot of people that come in that they can't do hormone replacement or they tried it and they had, there's a lot of unknown that happens with hormone replacements. For example, um, a lot of women are told like, okay, estrogen could create cancer risk, um, but you can take testosterone and people kind of blindly just take hormone replacements. Um, and when you do that, it, the pathway they convert to in your body, we don't necessarily control and can be very different. For instance, somebody could take testosterone and it could convert to estradiol, which raises a cancer risk. So I personally, right now at the time of this recording, I'm not on any hormone replacement therapy, none. I was, I was on actually testosterone for a little while. And I was one of those people that became because of the testosterone. I didn't know this. It became estrogen dominant. And then I started taking progesterone. It was like a whole that I started taking dim to get rid of the estrogen. And then I was all out of whack. And what I learned, cause I really started studying this and diving deep into it. Testosterone was converting to me to estradiol which was making me estrogen dominant. So I stopped all of it. I stopped all of it. I went back to what I teach. And then I recommend, and I, in the program, I do not require supplements, but I do teach a little bit about things right now. For instance, I'm on maca, which you might be able to take maca just helps balance your hormones without it being any kind of synthetic or any kind of added hormone. So yes, I think you'd actually really thrive on there. It is not impossible. It is not impossible, but I would really work with you on that mindset part first on decision on vision first and the nutrition part. And you'd have to trust the process. I wouldn't want anyone doing this program unless you fully are open to trusting the process because mindset sounds so hokey to people. I know. And I'll tell you, it doesn't fail. Every person that has success on my program, every single one tells me later, tells the world later, I didn't want to do that stuff at the beginning. And that's the stuff that worked. They all say it. That's the stuff that makes the difference. And I'm, there's not a better coach at this than me for this. I'm telling you, it's very hard to find somebody that, um, not only knows nutrition and workouts inside and out and is your age and gets you, but also knows the psychology of that stuff, which that is my jam. That's what I know. And so I, I do believe in that stuff. I am not a woo woo person, by the way. I'm not like, let's create a vision board and it just happens. That's not how, what I believe at all. When I use things like that, it's very strategic just to get your mind thinking in the right direction. So I'm not, this is not a like, woo, woo, we're just going to sit here and manifest. I don't, I mean, that's great if that's what you all do, like, but that's not what I do. I'm not like, we're just going to think this way and it's going to happen. We're going to take actual actions towards it, but I've got to get you operating 
like I told you earlier from possibility, not problem, potential, not circumstance. And when I can operate from with you there, that's how we're going to get the, get the results. Let's see. Hit has heart, uh, hormone placement called. Yeah, it was terrible. Yeah. I got off. Mm. Yeah. Sheila, I'm so sorry that happened to you. Yeah. I'm not, it's funny. Cause I, I do miss Sheila, just to be honest with you, sometimes I miss that testosterone. Like I ha- was taking a little bit of it and I was like, Oh, but it's, to me, it's not worth the risk. I don't want to, I don't want to deal with the other stuff that goes with that. Uh, you can still have coffee. Yes. Call it at no problem on coffee. Um, yes. And to worry if bioidentical can help you too. Um, totally fine. It, you might be one of the people that it works amazing for, for me the I was taking bioidentical testosterone. It was converting for me. As long as you're testing your blood, your labs, all of that, and you're on top of it and you feel good. That's, that's what matters. That's what matters. So Tracy, you're going to learn about sugar-free versus not sugar-free in here. I'm not a fan of artificial sweeteners, but I teach you why I teach you why. Uh, I teach you why. And there's some things I prefer instead. Um, like I'm okay with monk fruit, for instance. Um, I'm okay with a small amount of real things like real honey. Um, but I'm not a fan of aspartame or sucralose or sorbitol. Um, and you'll learn a lot about why, um, and that can make about a difference for us too, but half and half I'm fine with. Yes, Natalie, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with real fat foods and I teach you how to balance it. I'm so excited for so many of you. Yes. Let's see my, I'm excited to start tomorrow. Tori. Any, any other questions? And if you're in thrive, by the way, and you have, you're asking questions now, I swear it's all covered in there. So don't worry. You don't have to like, I, you can stay on as long as you want right now with me, but do, just know I'm going to cover all of this, uh, in thrive. So don't worry if you're not in thrive and I've got you on right now and you're, you have questions about that. Speak up now. Let me know. Let me help you with that. Let me know that. Hi, Teresa. Thank you. Um, is there an alternative to pizza? Claude, why would you want an alternative pizza? Pizza is just amazing as, as it is. <laughs> so like, come on. Um, I'm, isn't it better? I can show you like how we can work pizza in that might be better. I'm not a fan of like, I really want this, but I'm going to have that. I just teach you how to work stuff in. That's my, that's my thought. How do you deal with cravings around PMS? We balance stuff out. We balance stuff out. Claudette, I can't tell if you're wow, like that's excited or you didn't like my answer there. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. How do I, so cravings, uh, Tracy, when we balance the right foods and we're eating the right way for us, the cravings will start to go away. So week one is not, I'm going to say amazingly easy because you got to start learning to adjust. But once we balance it, we stop having those cravings. It starts changing a lot. It starts changing a lot. Yeah. I, every time I ask, hear that question about pizza, Claudette, I feel, I, I think of that meme. You guys have probably seen that meme. Um, that meme that's like, um, if cauliflower can become pizza then I can become anything. Cause I'm like, I just don't get the whole cauliflower. I'm like, if I'm going to have pizza, I'm, I mean, it'll be gluten-free for me cause I'm celiac, but I'm going to have pizza. Like, I don't want cauliflower pizza. <laughs> like, like, I don't know, maybe some of you guys do, but I'm like, somebody just sent me this pink. I get some free food sometimes because companies want me to try. They sent me, it was, a, um, like vegan, gluten-free, grain-free prank pancake, but it had, it said it had all these like superfoods and it was like, it tasted nothing like a pancake. I was, I was like, Oh, it's a pancake. No, this tastes like mushrooms. And sure enough, it had like mushrooms as an ingredient. So I'm not a fan of that. I'm like, let's just have, let's figure out how I don't want, if I want pancakes, I want a pancake. I don't want a mushroom with syrup on it, you know? So that's just my thought. That's my thought. Um, oh, how, yes, Lori. So if we, we have a link, can we put the link for Lori for Thrive? And it has the payment plan options on there. So you can see um, there's a pay in full option or there's a get started fee that you could do. Um, let's see, I'm shocked. You, so, okay, so Claudette, let me back up a minute. Okay, dairy and grains does cause inflammation. Yes, so does sugar. So I'm not saying that you should have pizza. That's, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying if you really want pizza, let's find a way to work it in versus saying we're never going to have it or we're going to find a substitute. Does that make sense? So I'm not saying like we're going to have pizza every day at all. In fact, I can never have regular pizza because of my celiac, but I can have a gluten-free pizza. It's just not going to be a staple. So no, dairy and grains and sugar absolutely create inflammation, but it's what we do 99% of the time. So if 99% of the time we, I've got you eating on point and it's a celebration and you really want pizza, I'm going to say, have real pizza. Let's not try to fake a cauliflower soy thing. That's all. <laughs> That's what I mean. Okay. 
that's my feeling. Like I, I'm sure there's lots of people that love to create fake things to modify the, the real thing. That's not, it's not me. I want the real thing. If I'm going to have it. I teach the same thing about ice cream. If you're going to have it, like have, you're going to have a small, I'm going to show you how to balance in the real thing. Have the real food. No mushroom pancakes. <laughs> they were pretty gross. I won't be, I will not be doing a sponsored ad for the mushroom pancakes. <laughs> they were not, not good. Um, let's see more questions. Any final ones? Um, let's see. Okay. Um, thank you everyone. All right. I just got your direct message. It's hard to see the direct messages, um, from somebody from iPhone just wrote that in, um, the iPhone 15 that just wrote that in, what I would do is have, if you message our support at nataliejillfitness.com, so they can send you the replay from this. That's what I would do. That would make the most, probably the most sense. Any final questions? All right. We have a few spots left for tomorrow. I'm going to go post a video on social media right now, just giving kind of the warning of the countdown. So if you are thinking about it, I would get in before they are gone. Um, before they are gone. And I love to help you. And I'm excited to work with so many of you tomorrow. All right. Thank you all for taking the time tonight. It was so great meeting so many of you. If you enjoyed this tonight, by the way, if you're on social media with me, um, come say hi to me under my most recent post or something, just so I know that you were on and I can say hi to you. Like, so I know who you are over there. Okay. Me on Instagram. If you're on there, Natalie Jill fit. All right. Thanks everyone. Bye.